Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Tuesday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. As we're in Lent, let us begin first with the litany from Drawn to the Cross. On the cross, Jesus graces us with the gifts of forgiveness and life that we do not deserve. Our journey through Lent focuses on those glorious blessings from our Lord. In the grace of Christ, I glory, richly filling every hour. All the sin from human story is removed by his great power. Nothing we say or do can reunite us with God. Only through the blood of Christ are we brought together again with our Heavenly Father. Jesus came to earth as both God and man to live the perfect life for us and die a cruel death in our place that we might have a place in glory. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. We went our own way and abandoned our God when we thought we could solve our problems alone. But Jesus came to bring us back home. I once was lost, but now I'm found. We failed to recognize when things went wrong and did not acknowledge our fault for our wayward behavior. I was blind, but now I see. Open my eyes to your goodness to me, O Lord, that I may view the richness of your love. Show me the outpouring of divine benefits, O Lord that I might graciously receive them with joy. Bring me an understanding of your endless supply of spiritual offerings to me, O Lord, that I might generously respond to you in the acts of Christ-like kindness toward others. We receive your gracious favor from the death upon the tree. Let us always daily savor that in you we are made free. Now let us begin our daily prayers. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humili humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Graciously and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the ways that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him, and will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have pity on me, for I am left alone in misery. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversaries with misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies for they are many and they bear a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve, uh, preserve me for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Let us pray. Lord, our God, you show us your ways of compassion and love and you uh, spare sinners. Remember not our sins. 
relieve our misery, satisfy the longing of your people, and fulfill all our hopes for eternal peace through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, let's continue our story in Joseph in Genesis in the 42nd chapter, beginning with verse 1. When Joseph learned that there was grain in Egypt, um, Jacob learned when there was, yeah, when Jacob learned when there was grain in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look for one another? And he said, behold, I have heard that there's grain in Egypt. Go down and buy grain for up to there that we may live and not die. So 10 of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's brother, with his brothers, for he feared that harm might fall him. Thus the sons of Israel came to buy among the others who came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. Now Joseph was governor over the land. He, was, uh, he, he it was who sold the, all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. Joseph saw his brothers and knew them. Mm -hmm. But he treated them like strangers and spoke roughly to them. Where do you come from? He said. They said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. Thus Joseph knew his brothers, but they did not know him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he had dreamed of them. And he said to them, you are spies. You have come to see the weakness of the land. They said to him, oh no, my Lord, but to buy food. Have your servants come. We are all sons of one man. We are honest men. Your servants are not spies. He said to them, No, it is the weakness of the land that you have come to see. And they said, We, your servants, are twelve brothers, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and the one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is, uh, it is as I said to you, you are spies. But this is, uh, by this you shall be tested. By the life of Pharaoh, you shall not go from this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Send one of you and let, your, let, you bring, let him bring your brother while you remain in prison, that your words may be tested, whether there is truth in you or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. And he put them all together in prison for three days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thank to God. Lord. Our second lesson comes from 1 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, beginning with verse 1. It is actually reported that there is immorality immor among you and of a kind that is not found even among pagans. For a man is living with his father's wife and, are, are, and you are arrogant. Ought you not rather to mourn? Let him who has done this be removed from among you. For though absent in body, I am present in spirit. And as if present, I have already pronounced judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, on the man who has done such a thing. When you are assembled and my spirit is present with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a, a, little leaven, a, a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may uh, be a new lump as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened leavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to you, God. God. Our Holy Gospel comes from St. Mark, the third chapter. Glory to you, Glory to Lord. O Lord. Then he went home, and the, crowd had, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. And when his family heard it, they went out to seize him. For people were saying, He is beside himself. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of the demons he casts out the demons. And he called them to him and said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, the house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but is coming to an end. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless the first 
binds the strong man, then indeed he may plunder the house. Truly I say to you, all sins will be forgiven, the sons of men, and whatever blasphemies they utter, but whoever blasphemies against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they have said, he has an unclean spirit. And his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside they sent to him, and called him, and a crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around on those who sat about him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water, and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Lord, watch over your church and guide it with your unfailing love. Protect us from what could harm us and lead us to what will save us. Help us always, for without you, we are bound to fail. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow as well. Bye-bye. Mm,